His trainer's out there with him now. So they're lining up. And they're off, fan racing, Cornati Kid jumps away perfectly okay. The Coral Welsh National Field are dispatched. And early on, Flintoff and Hello Bud are amongst those that show on this long run towards the first. They've got a couple of left-hand turns to take before they reach the first obstacle. Co races exuberantly through into third place as they take the bend with Dream Alliance. Kilbegan Blade is another one who is being sent forward. So it's Hello Bud and Kilbegan Blade, along with a keen running Co who lead as they climb the hill for the first time. Dream Alliance in fourth. They had a flint off Miko de Beauchene, Halcon Genelade racing at this stage in midfield, as indeed is Operation Houdini and Cornish set. Bally fits another with Lebobai, Zakharova and Kornati Kid out a little wider. Gone to lunch, Nozick. At this stage, the t'other one is held up towards the uh, rear of the field, along with Old Benny, as they prepare to take the first of the 20 fences they'll take during the course of their three-mile, five-and-a-half furlong journey. And it's Hello Bud who rises in front. The whole field are over safely. Well, at the back of the field, Old Benny just cajoled along after taking the first, gone to lunch, racing a little idly towards the rear as well, as they're on towards the second, which Hello Bud took in front and leads from Kilbeg and Blade in third place is Co. Flintoff tracks the leaders. Mikoda Beauchene and Dream Alliance are the next two as they rise at fence number three. Gone to lunch remains the back marker over it. Midfield for Halcon Genelade in company with Silver by Nature, Cornati, Kid and Zakharova as they're quickly on towards the fourth. Hello Bud, rising from Co and Kilbeg and Blade. A mistake by Flintoff. Lost quite a bit of ground in the process as well. He jumped off right in terms with the leaders. He's now in midfield as they're on towards the fifth. And Hello Bud leading the way early on from Kilbeg and Blade. Co jumps up on the inside. And again, Flintoff, and a bad mistake by Gone to Lunch at the back of the field. It's quite a serious error by Gone to Lunch, whose rider did well to sit tight, but he has raced a little uh, lazily early on, and is last of all as the leaders reach fence number six. And Gone to Lunch was the last to rise over it, just preceded by Old Benny and the t'other one. But no fallers down the back despite a couple of mistakes, and now a long run before they encounter the seventh. Three deep for the lead, wide on the course, Kilbeg and Blade, Hello Bud in the centre, and Co on the rails. They show two lengths clear from Miko de Beauchene and Dream Alliance. Cornati Kid and Halcon Genelade race sixth and seventh. Lebeau by Yellow Jacket on the outside of Cornish Set and Silver by Nature. And then behind these comes Nozick. Zakharova is in the next little group. After that error, Flintoff is towards midfield now and about to 12th or 13th on the outer of Operation Houdini. And then the t'other one, Bally Fitz, still towards the back, Old Benny and Lars. Last of all is gone to lunch. So they straighten on towards fence number seven and Hello Bud and Co. It is who dispute the running. A couple of lengths clear from Kilbeg and Blade in third and then Miko de Beauchene along with Dream Alliance as they rise at the first in the home straight at which they were all over safely again. Flintoff and Gone to Lunch are the two that really have struggled through the first circuit. Gone to Lunch detached by seven or eight lengths at this stage. This is a second of the ditches. Hello Bud leads over it from Co. A mistake by Operation Houdini towards the inside when in midfield. Doesn't cost the horse too much ground as Hello Bud, the Scottish national winner, leads Co and Kilbeg and Blade towards the next. Cornati Kid up on the outside. Miko de Beauchene and Halcon Genelade track the leaders. The t'other one didn't get too high at that, still towards the rear. But it's Flintoff and Gone to Lunch are the two that are struggling at the back as they head on towards the fence that's 10 of the 20. Hello Bud leads over it. And again, the whole field are over safely. So all 18 are still standing as they'll bypass what would normally have been the final fence and will lead to a longer running than usual in a circuit's time. Hello Bud leads the way in the white and blue colours from Co. the White Cap. Behind the leaders, Halcon Genelade travels comfortably for him, along with Kilbeg and Blade, Dream Alliance with the white face. Cornati Kid, then Silver by Nature, Cornish set Miko de Beauchene. Operation Houdini ahead of Bally Fitz Nozick, and then Le Bobai in the yellow colours. Flintoff on the outside of the green cap of Old Benny, then Zakharova, the t'other one needing a little bit of pushing along by Tony McCoy. He can race in snatches the horse and gone to lunch another for whom that applies is at the rear of the field and the t'other one received a reminder heading out on that final circuit as they prepare to climb uphill and race out towards the next fence which is number 11 of the 20. A long run till they get to it. Hello Bud leads at halfway in the Coral Welsh National from co-racing in second place. A couple of lengths back in third to Kilbeg and Blade on the outside of Dream Alliance. 
Then Silver by Nature races on the inner. Muko de Beauchene from Halcon, Genelade and Cornish set. Operation Houdini and company with Nozick, Cornati Kid and Flintoff, who between fences has made quite a bit of ground again into midfield from Bally Fitz. Le Bobai only has about four or five behind. They are the tother one. Also towards the back is Old Benny. Zakharova is towards the tail with Gone to Lunch. But the whole field will be covered by less than 15 lengths at this stage. Hello Bud rises then at fence number 11. Once again, the field are all over, although Zakharova appears to be losing interest at the back of the field and Gone to Lunch is being driven along. This is another open ditch. Hello Bud, out jumped by Co. A slight mistake by Cornish Set, a worse mistake by Bally Fitz. A good recovery at the back of the field. Gone to Lunch is being pulled up. Gone to Lunch is the first horse out of the race as they begin to string out. It's Co who leads. From in second place, Miko de Beauchene. Halcon Genelade has lost ground rapidly and is being ridden along in midfield. In third is Hello Bud from Dream Alliance. Silver by Nature travels comfortably. Nozix made good ground. Then Cornish Set from Kilbeg and Blade, who's lost ground. Operation Houdini next from Cornati Kid. Halcon Genelade continues to lose his place. Bally Fitz is working back into it after that mistake and he's back into about 11th or 12th as Co leads them over that next fence at which Flintoff is completely tailed off towards the uh, rear of the field and Zakharova did take it but he's even further behind. So it's Co who leads them on towards the last on the far side. Miko de Beauchen made a slight mistake. There was also an error by Cornati Kid back in the field. So the leaders preparing to leave the back straight with Co leading, has been in the firing line throughout from Dream Alliance. On the outside, Miko de Beauchene, Silver by Nature, has crept into the race. Bally Fitz doing well to recover after that error. Le Beau buys made significant ground and is now in sixth place towards the outside as they prepare to leave the back. Cornish set comes next, Hello Bud driven along. The Tother one's made midfield but has been hard work to this point. Uh, then behind these towards the rear of the field, ones that's completely tailed off is Zakharova, also towards the uh, rear of the field and being uh, ridden along and losing quite a lot of ground at this stage is old Benny Flintoff trying to regain some momentum but is also quite well behind so they straighten towards the fourth last in the Coral Welsh National Co being pressed by Dream Alliance and Miko de Beauchene Silver by Nature in fourth Le Bobai rises in fifth place Bally Fitz is in sixth then the t'other one Operation Houdini is a faller and has brought down Hello Bud badly hampered Kilbeg and Blade but there's a leading group of six or seven that are getting away it's Dream Alliance and Co who lead over it, Co makes a bad mistake at a crucial stage, and it's Dream Alliance who's on towards the second last. Silver by Nature in second, then in third place, Miko de Beauchene, Bally Fitz, and Le Bobai are the next pair. This is two from home, Dream Alliance is over. Three clear from Silver by Nature in second place, Miko de Beauchene, Le Bobai, Bally Fitz, and Co. The final fence for Dream Alliance and Tom O'Brien. He's over, perched up the horses next. Silver by Nature is pecking as well. They've got to bypass the last, and it's Dream Alliance who leads by five or six lengths. Silver by Nature is trying to close. Len Le Bobai and Miko de Beauchene, but they're off up the running and Dream Alliance leads by four lengths. Silver by Nature in second place. Dream Alliance hanging over to the far rail, but he's still holding Silver by Nature, who's coming with one final effort. But Dream Alliance, ridden out, will get home in the Coral Welsh National and a fairy tale return from injury for Tom O'Brien. Silver by Nature second, Le Bobai, Miko de Beauchene, Bally Fitz, Co, Halcon Genelade and Cornish Set.